Hello, everybody. It is me, Pacific. Okay, viewers, I know you're getting tired of this ongoing saga and online drama of whoever is doing the Encyclopedia Dramatica site. I did two videos responding politely and kindly to Loremaster yesterday because I tried to take them at face value. This morning, I open up my email and I receive yet another one of these stupid emails from somebody who cannot sign their name to it, tell me who they are, and a coded encrypted thing that I tried to make a video earlier and include it in the descriptive, and it said brackets are not allowed. There are no brackets on this thing, and it dawned on me that this is your typical computer hacker who is playing little games with me, and he has now just shed enough doubt for me to believe that until I hear otherwise, I have sufficient reason to believe that Loremaster created the site against me and attacked his girlfriend. I don't want to talk about lore. I really don't. It is a waste of time to spend any time and energy on this. But yet at the same time, since these fools out here, whoever these fools are that are doing this, demand so much attention and enjoy being in the spotlight, I'm going to say that, number one, that they know very cleverly what they can and cannot do on the Internet. They also have means of avoiding being detected and tracked and all this other stuff. I am going to, at some point, going to go to the police department and bring this email and say, can you track this down to the server because I'm getting these and I've kept all three of them and say, this is harassment and I want it to stop and I want to know the location from where this is coming from. I have also asked you, loser, to stop emailing me. I deal in a man's world and your guerrilla warfare tactics is chicken crap of the highest order. You're an idiot. Sign your freaking first and last name complete with your address and your phone number so I can talk to you man to man. If you're unable to do that, then don't write me this crap. And you said some things in that that were just ridiculous. I'm going to read off the email address in its entirety since you're going public to me and not signing your name. I will post your email address clearly out here since you're probably the one that put together the docs. I know that there's more than one person involved in that site. It says right on and that edits can be made by other people. I have no proof myself that it is Loremaster except a name that says Loremaster. I find it interesting that I get flooded with emails when I woke up this morning of people saying, I know you're trying to be nice and I know you're trying to reach across the aisle to Lore, but I don't believe it. His name is on it. And why didn't he deny it in the beginning? My fans are raising some objective viewpoints. Lore, I'm sorry. If you didn't do it, I'm not trying to frame you, but it does look like you did it. And your sudden admission that you didn't do it, I have no reason to believe one way or the other, except to believe that there's enough doubt cast that I have reason to believe you did it. I have asked you or whoever it is to take it down to remove all doubt. No accusations will be made from there. No more discussion will be made about this if this thing goes away. But it isn't. Now people want to be malicious and post addresses and phone numbers and stuff like that. Everybody that I know that has written me has said that is totally, totally wrong. And nobody's signing their name to it while Pacific is out here in the flesh every day Facing my audience, wow, we got a bunch of internet cowards, nobody claiming responsibility. What the hell is the difference between that and Islamic terrorists that blow up buildings and nobody has a face to it? Absolutely nothing. You discredit yourselves over and over, and I know that people are getting tired of me talking about this, but viewers, I'm going to tell you something. They're doing this BS over and over, underground, and they want me to not react, but yet they do want me to react. You're damned if you do, damned if you don't. So let me read the stupid little email from the loser. Here is the ID. This is his email address. That alone ought to raise enough suspicion that this is probably a hacker. 1N, as in nobody, X-T-O-T, plus symbol, 2W9GS810EK. B as in boy, O at gorillamail.com. 
Sea Pacific, gosh, let that sink in. By the way, it was titled, We Told You So. Who's we? Sea Pacific, gosh, let that sink in. You swore the people who emailed you and made the ED site were Loopy Lore and, all, and his friends. I've heard it all now, Pacific, just saying, and the uh, breast symbol, zero with a dot in between. I heard you read the emails, excuse me, but none of them sounded anything like how you made them out to be and kind of appeared to just be your viewers just wanting to kick you in the ASS anonymously for going ballistic on nonsense after nonsense. Look into it, being butt pillage, whatever. We all thought, wow, do you, the mega memory Pacific, not even remember that you already made a video saying this butt pillager has already literally threatened to kill you in public, even trying to run you over, literally, uh, cuss word symbols. You even said nurses heard his threat. Has no one else done that to you? Didn't think so. We're all tired of this, Pacific. Yeah, so am I, buddy. Believe me, but I don't see you doing one thing to stop it. Where's your video confronting this? We are all tired of this, Pacific. You should have reported his threats before. Then you could tie the site with cops to him easier now. Who else could have known all that contact and work and relative type of info that was posted on ED except him? Hmm, unless you got a host of other enemies none of us know about in Denver. I doubt it. The villager, the pillager perp probably knows hundreds of little kooks who would help him in this way. Anyway, it looks like whomever did this site took off the contact info now anyways. If I read it right, go take a vacation now. Visit some chick somewhere, you maniac. Just keep your fingers to yourself this time. <clears throat> now, I'm going to tell you all, viewers, something very pointed that is a veiled threat. Keep your fingers to yourself. And let me tell you something that the person who wrote the doc signed it by saying, step up your game now, Pacific, and get clocked. One and the same? Definitely. Framing butt pillager? Let me say something about butt pillager, a.k.a. Vil Christ. Vil Christ does not know my family background at all. People can find information on that stuff online. That's a no-brainer. Some people have to pay fees for that, and obviously somebody's got too much time on their hand and wants to waste their money tracking stuff down. Number two, I know enough about Vil, and after talking to my own son, he said he didn't do this. One, because my son's name is mentioned. My son's age is mentioned, and according to the ED site, that is a violation involving minors when you're trying to blast somebody and put them down. And ED has not re remarked or commented to any of us. ED is a, a Encyclopedia Dramatica is not a professional site. It shows up as a red flag site on internet search engines all over the place. It is a horrible site that was put together by somebody who appears to be a neo-Nazi skinhead. This is not a professional site. They don't play by American rules because they're based out of Sweden. Somebody wrote me yesterday thinking that German MGTOW might have something to do with this because he has been on my video form and he's been on Loremasters. Possible, but I doubt it. Why would a guy in Germany take all that time to do it? The only link there is all the swastikas to the next, to the next, to the next to the docks. I have no reason to believe it's Vil. I believe somebody's trying to make me draw attention to him to start causing trouble to bring trouble back on myself. That's a no-brainer there. The body of this email that I just read to you, my viewers, clearly shows that this guy is very intelligent about what he's doing and he knows how to clean up his footsteps along the way. When I used to go into chat rooms on the right side of the chat room in Yahoo Chat, you'd see a list of IDs. And every time we saw those star asterisk one N plus two, blah, 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 we knew that those guys were coming in to make trouble. Every time they'd start booting people, they'd lock down the mic, they'd start filling the room with bots. These people have a little technical savvy. Whether this is lore master, I don't know. All I know is his name was assigned to it and people wrote me directly and said that was the girl he dated that he dogged so bad. I'm going off of what others said. If my own fans are turning against me, which some have, I also have had somebody actually forward me all the, I did not know you can do this, you can see who's thumbs upping videos. I find that very interesting. The people thumbs upping videos, 
when I did the one saying a truce between Laura and I, I noticed zero thumbs up or zero thumbs down. But then I post stuff like Whitney Houston's daughter died saying how sad and people thumbs down that. And when you look at who thumbs down it, guess who they're connected to? Yep, you got it. And what's funny is you put together a pattern that everybody thinks they're being anonymous. None your business. Then you got the fine peace camp over here with Ag Palesque, whatever his name is, saying don't listen to Pacific. And yet these clowns sit here and watch my videos and continue to sit here and make your comments and go round and round. And I find that very curious. I have no doubt that some people turned against me. I don't care. But the problem is, is people are trying to vilify me for being human and trying to deal with this in the best way I know how. People will laugh at me saying, oh, he's going to go to the police. I don't go to the police with everything. I talked at length to an officer about the ins and outs of the internet cyber bully world. And I learned a lot of stuff. Number one, we all know they're not easy to catch until something happens. A criminal offense has been done. I can go and ask them if they can track down harassing emails, which I've gotten three from this guy who will not sign his name. I have more respect for somebody who can be diplomatic to me and write me and say, look, I've been watching this going on. This is my name. I'm one of your fans. Can I please ask you to stop it? But you don't sign your name, which number one, sheds doubt on just who you are. I don't believe you're one of my fans. And then you imply that some of my own fans are kicking me in the ASS. Number one, I've been transparent and honest on this channel to a fault. People have made fun of that. People have done things. I understand that. Some people can't handle my style and my honesty. And I say, move on. YouTube's a big land. It exceeds our coasts. But we have people that sit here. We have people that are stuck here. We have people that for some reason want to fixate, stir up trouble. And I cannot in my rational mind figure out why, except that they don't have anything better to do. Instead of making a site that they can be successful at, instead of pursuing a hobby, they want to cause trouble. As I said in my video yesterday, which lion is your master? That applies. That applies. Lore Master, if you did not do this, I apologize profusely. But in the meantime, I've retracted my videos, and I will not say anything about you, Lore, but I'm reserving my judgment on this until I got a more clear picture of who is behind this. Lore, allow me to say that whoever sent this email today has just cast doubt now on you that I come clean and try to make a clean break and then we get a smart ass coming back with a nanny nanny boo boo approach see we all told you you should have just shut up and left it alone and things would have stood but now you come back and now you're trying to blame somebody do you have all the facts your email id is interesting why don't you tell us who you are maybe you're the one that made the ed page Maybe you're the one that wants me to blame somebody else so that I start trouble for myself because if I falsely accuse Bill, hmm, perhaps your motives aren't so pure, are they? I'm going to tell you, stop writing me. I'm going to tell you that when I tried to post this in the body of my descriptive, it says no brackets allowed. I looked through the whole thing. Other than parentheses, there were no brackets. And I thought this little fool's encrypted this thing. Don't worry. I've got a copy. I've sent a copy to others. And I'm going to find out through our local police if we can track down who's doing this. Okay? So, and I am going to take the time to do that because I've had enough. My requests are simple. Take down the ED page with the docs and stop the attacks. If you don't agree with my channel, make a video saying why you disagree with me and do it in a civil manner, just like I have. You don't have to agree with me. I say what I say because I have freedom of speech. But I'm not interested in keeping this going. Number one, whoever has taken that made this whole Encyclopedia Dramatica page is a coward and a chicken because nobody's taking ownership for it. That is no difference than the terrorists over in the Middle East who blow up buildings and 
be anonymous and do all this stuff. And then later on Hamas or the PLO or the Taliban takes responsibility, but you still don't know who did it. I don't roll that way. I like people to talk to me and you're threatening and you're talking tough all because I'm simply using my freedom of speech. I'm not asking for people to vandalize your property, call your phone, <clears throat> call others. I'm not doing that. You are. I talk about my opinions and my viewpoints and you're harassing and you're trying to be intimidating and you're making threats veiled. Keep your fingers out of this. You have put your fingers into my email and you are writing shitty stuff. Don't do it. Don't talk tough to me, little punk, because that's all you are. You're a cyber a-hole and you need to go away and you need to crawl up into your butt and go sniff something up there because I've had enough of it. I've asked you to stop and you're not. You rule by gangster mentality via Cyberville. You hide, show me your picture, show me your house address, show me your phone number, show me your family members and start posting all that crap, little boy. Let's do that, shall we? Let's go tit for tat. You want to do that? I'm not here to step up my game, but you just stepped it up. You're threatening, you're making comments, and you're belittling me in my personal email box. You've stepped over a line, punk ass. Let me make that very clear. Do you, do you have any more questions? You think you're proud? If you're so proud and you're so sure of yourself and you keep sending your garbage, put your name to it, put your address, and put your phone number. You won't do it because you know that you have fear. And you're ruling on the internet by fear and trepidation. And, oh, look at this, and you better keep your fingers out, blah, blah, blah. And you're trying to frame somebody while exonerating lore. I know what's going on. You're not one of my fans. Not at all. I have a channel to run. I'm not interested in drawing attention to this. But just like Kim said, they tried to ignore it, hoping it would go away. It didn't. I tried to do the same. It didn't. They stepped up their game and they keep doing it and doing it and doing it because somebody is getting an orgasm off of this page. Somebody is having so much fun being a hater, a liar, and causing problems. The bottom line is, at the end of the day, the, the bulk of the fans that are on my channel like this channel. The bulk of the people that listen in on this channel are not my enemies. There are people that come in here and float in and drift in that agree and don't agree and whatever. But there's a core group of people that have been here for a while that are malcontents, discontents, and they don't like the subscriptions going up still, 3,052 this morning, and on and on this stuff goes. You're drawing attention to yourself, you're causing trouble, and you're expecting me not to do anything about it. That's pretty hypocritical of you. You, you expect me to be quiet and think it's all going to go away while they step it up and post addresses and phone numbers. Let's post your address and phone numbers and let me drive in front of your house and do a video of the front entrance of your house and say, here's where one of my trolls live, 555 Superior Street, complete with town. And then we'll go down to the police department and say, you want to go over here and see what he's doing on his computer? You see, we know this game. This is the new men today in America. Unemployed people that stay up all night and get on here and hack computers and cause problems. Don't tell me you're one of my fans. Don't tell me you're getting tired of it. I'm tired of it and I have a right to fight back. And you, Mr. American loser, need to go exit to another terrorist country and go live over there. You're not a true American. <clears throat> it's too bad Homeland Security didn't deal with these nitwits that get on the internet. That would be fun, wouldn't it? The longer you keep drawing attention to yourself, the more you keep leaving harassing or veiled threat letters, it's going to catch you one day. Just know that. You're a stupid fool when you keep sending fingerprint emails that can be traced back to a server. You can code it all you want. But there's always a trail to something. I asked you to stop, and you did. I made a video saying, okay, lore, truce, and then you come back with that, shedding doubt on lore. Congratulations, you're responsible. 
I'm done talking about lore. I will reserve my judgment lore until I find out who's doing it, and I may never. But I'm going to make my conditions clear. Whoever made the page needs to take it down. You don't want to admit who you are? Fine. Take it down and leave me alone. Simple. If you disagree with me, you have a right to make your own videos and come back. But taking my own material and putting your stupid text over it, that's not a talent. It just isn't. It just isn't. Pacific is an average guy who works and tries to live a life of peace and tries to get along with people. And I have my controversy and I have my faults and I have my flaws. But I'm no different than any other human being out there. My channel is not a flawless, impeccable work of art. This is, for crying out loud, I'm in a storage room with a bunch of junk behind me. I don't think I'm all that. And the people that are attacking me know that. I don't think I'm Mr. Tough Guy. I don't. But when I'm attacked, I'm defensive. And so are these guys, because they keep responding and they keep poking. <clears throat> I think I've asked a reasonable request. Stop it. Make a video saying why you disagreed with this or that video. But I've noticed a theme here with these guys. Put downs, name calling, attack my looks, maniac. You know, go find a girl somewhere. Keep your fingers out of this. You're, you're really unwise to do that kind of stuff because that stuff isn't going to make me go, oh, I'm going to submit to that. I respect that. Oh, you're worthy. You got to be kidding me. So you do your little guerrilla warfare, which I believe you're responsible for the docs. It's, it's pretty obvious that there's a very small group of individuals that are all friends with somebody who did the page and they're keeping this going. I've also looked at the people who are thumbs downing my videos and thumbs upping lores. <clears throat> I find it interesting. They're thumbs downing videos where I talk about innocuous stuff that wouldn't be controversial to them. And what really cued me is my truce videos, not one thumbs down, not one. But every single video within five minutes of uploading, a thumbs down. The two and a half hour video I made yesterday, which lion is your master? You'd have to listen to that whole thing to understand. And you thumbs down it within minutes of it going up. And then I see who your name is. And I see who you're thumbs upping. <sighs> you people aren't very bright. What is more curious to me is why you continue to sit on this channel just to do that. That's a disturbed individual. That if you're so convinced Lord didn't do it, why would you start doing stuff like this where you shed doubt on him? If you're Lord's friends, that's kind of the wrong thing you should be doing. Thumbs downing videos that aren't even attacking him. Thumbs downing videos where... I comment on Whitney Houston's daughter dying, and I didn't say anything negative about those two people. Wow. I'm getting a picture. A portrait is being developed as we speak. How sad. I think it's time for me to let my viewers know that I rarely thumbs down videos. Rarely, even if I don't like it. I don't always take the time to do that. I'm like, ah, this is crap. I have started thumbs downing a couple things. But I also don't leave comments on lore site or my enemies. I don't. And a lot of people are upset that I've dismantled the comments. I had to. It's become a cesspool out there. There's article after article online about the trolls are invading the whole internet world. And it's true. It's just like the CB radio. It started out as something good. The internet started out as something good. It's crazy. No, Pacific doesn't think he's tough. Pacific doesn't want to bring harm or damage to anybody. 
Pacific talks about issues that are close to my heart. Sometimes I go on and on about some things. So what? That's part of my persona. Everybody's got some sort of a, a mainframe, if you will, of something that they kind of default back to. I mean, I'm not going to be cheesy and say, why can't we all just get along? Because I know that that's unrealistic. Number one, as a Christian, the world system is going to hate me. Number two, whoever wrote this email is obviously not a Christian. To say the kind of things he says, we have unbelievers on here, and those are the ones causing most of the trouble. I hate to say it. With the exception of fine peace and his continued rant over on his Google page with malcontents that have been literally shut out on my channel because they were F you comments and rude stuff like Ag Gillespie and whatever. You know, I, I don't, <clears throat> I, I tried to be non-judgmental about these people. Sometimes I'd read comments that the, some of my fans left and I'm like, what is with this dude? But I let it stand. But then when I see that, wow, there's some weird stuff going on here. There's some stuff that makes me wonder about the person's mental sanity. I always tell everybody, listen to me if you want. Don't if you don't. Don't take everything I say at face value. Check things out for yourself. When I talk about the Bible, check in the Bible to see whether these things are so. I'm also entitled to an opinion, and I try to state this is my opinion, or this is what the Bible says, or this is what I've experienced. I try to differentiate between those. It's not that I want to go up against Loremaster. When he said he'd remove his whole channel, it was never my intent for him to remove his whole channel. The thing is, I'm not a malicious person. I'm a reactionary. I drive out there in public. I don't understand why people cut two inches in front of me on a freeway at 65 when there's nobody behind me. And I'm going 65 and you can't use courtesy. It's the same thing on the Internet. Disagree with me, but when you start doing stuff like this, I'm supposed to just sit there and not react? you got to be kidding me. I promise you that the people making those sites, if I had access to their personal information, they would be quite disturbed. In fact, it would rattle and bother them, especially if I posted it. And the difference between me, if I was going to be malicious, I'd just vocalize it all out there and say, yep, this person lives at this address. This is mommy, his daddy, this is his phone numbers. But I don't do that stuff. Somebody, and I'm not going to tell who, but somebody made a threat video they wanted to come down and take care of one of my enemies. Name will be withheld. And made a video saying that he was going to come to a certain location to do it. I wrote him back and I said, get rid of that. <clears throat> Let God deal with these people. I don't want anything to come on anybody as a result of me. I don't want any of that going on. So... Am I a heart of vengeance? No, but somebody is. Somebody doesn't care if harm befalls me. Somebody doesn't care at all. They're truly full of hate. These people aren't making good money that are doing this. These people don't have good jobs. They probably don't even own a house. They're just people that stay up all night, have nothing better to do but to be in darkness. The problem is is you're doing things that could cause greater harm. It's it's more than just disagreeing with me. And people make that comment, oh, you just, you shut down anybody who disagrees with me. <laughs> Go back and read my Hong Kong, Chinese and Hong Kong road video. Check that out. 250,000 views. Single-handedly blows away all of my trolls in their entire video forum for number of views. 250,000 views. And it's almost so close to like 48 percent 50 50 in favor 49 percent and there are comments going back and forth so many i can't even control it anymore and i've i'm not going to shut down the comments until if i see something graphically racist or rude and i catch it i'll delete the comment people disagree but when people comment on my looks and comment on my voice and comment on your f hard and stuff like that, that's not entering the debate forum. And unfortunately, 
Most of that crap comes from the United States. That even in Hong Kong, some Chinese have disagreed with me, but they've been somewhat polite about it. Though cyberbullying is a problem over there. They had a poster that I took a picture of, of a beautiful little girl on the internet with love hearts over her head. And on the other side of this wall is a guy wearing a wolf's mask. And it said in Chinese, beware, you don't know who you're dealing with online. And Hong Kong had a campaign saying to the young people, you need to be careful online. There are cyber bullies, cyber trolls, people posing as 50-year-old adults pretending to be 14 years old that want to go out with you. This is a problem of industrialized nations. And the reason it's such a problem is because we have too much time on our hands. It's also indicative of people who are not doing well, that are not successful in certain areas of their life, and they have nothing better to do but spend an inordinate amount of time doing this. There are professional hackers and there are amateur hackers. There are amateur cyber bullies and, quote, professional cyber bullies. The kind of people we're dealing with here are just trying to stir up trouble, pure and simple. Yeah, kind of hard to keep silent about that. I want this to go away just as much as you claim to, Mr. Email Writer. But you don't sign your name to it. You don't tell me who you are. And you will not tell me what to do. Okay? Because more than just emails, I've had many people here that are aware of what's going on. Many people, names and addresses of people listed. If you think I was going to run back and go, oh, no. I went forward and I said, hey, here's what's going on. Here's the crap they posted on the Internet. Just want you to know. One person told me, give them hell. And I'm not going to do that. I'm just simply trying to talk about it and ask people to stop. Not that that has any power or authority, but I've just appealed kindly to stop it. Am I bothered that they cut and splice my videos? It's irritating, but if they want to take things out of context and paint a picture, okay. But I think I've said enough about this issue. Posting addresses and phone numbers, ridiculous. This ongoing thing that you guys are creating needs to stop. This is Pacific signing off. Bye-bye.